Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video I want to show you Llama C++ uh, running on an AMD Radeon RX 550. So that is a relatively old GPU, also not very fast, but um, it does support Vulkan and it means that you can use this GPU and also a lot of other GPUs that support Vulkan with Llama C++. So originally uh, I tried to run uh, a large language model through OpenCL but so far I wasn't able to get that working so now I went to something that I can run a large language model through Vulkan. So there are some build instructions. So this is how you get the code. And then there are multiple options to build it just on the CPU. But that's, um, well, it, it has the best, let's just say, compatibility, but it's usually also the slowest option. There are some other options, also CUDA. But we are going to have a look at Vulkan. So it says uh, download and install the Vulkan SDK. And well, luckily on Ubuntu, that's not too hard. Uh, as you can see here, you can install the package lib vulkan dev. And you also need, well, at least I also needed this package gl slc. Um, yeah, you also need to install CMake and also Git, but you probably already with this command, then you will find out if Git is installed or not. And it's really easy, sudo apt install Git, so. And I was hoping that, um, well, I'm currently on an ARM system, Phytium D2000. But I did run into an error. So they say that this should be enough to prepare for a Vulkan build. But when you compile it, uh, you will run into an error. Well, Luckily for me, I wasn't the only one that ran into that error. And they say you can prepare the build like this. But since we want to have the Vulkan build, then that means that you also need to add this parameter. So let's see if I still have that in memory. Yeah, so then for instance, it will look like this. And after that, you can do the actual build. And then hopefully everything gets compiled and uh, should be good to go. And then you might wonder, where you can find some models to use with Llama C++ because uh, they do need to be converted but luckily uh, for instance here they have a link then there are already converted models available now I went with uh, this one 
1.5 billion parameter file quen uh, deep seek distilled and you can also find it like this ttml and yeah that's this one So once you have everything in place, then let's try to do a benchmark. Um, yep, we'll do it like this. And here you can see that it found the AMD Radeon RX 550. So I'm not really sure what this actually means, but uh, it does have a significant impact on the amount of tokens per second. So let's see how this actually works. And yeah, to show you, I used this command to run it so for instance what is the meaning of life so here you can see the thought process and uh, the result well, no, actually, you don't see the thought process. And the well, last time I tried it, it's the highest mountain on Earth, that it Well, I think last time I did get a different answer, but um, this looks very funky. So I'm not really sure why it's behaving like this. Perhaps there's a, an issue with the Vulcan driver. I'm not really sure, but I'll just uh, quit this one because it's not really giving any more useful information um, yeah I guess you can try to experiment with other models perhaps uh, they will behave a bit better but the good thing is is that when you can use Vulkan to run large language models, that means that you also have the option to use older GPUs to accelerate the large language model. Now I also tried it on the Raspberry Pi 5 because they claim they have a Vulkan 1.3 conformant driver, but wasn't able to get that working. Got some error message there. I um, think I will also try it on the Rockchip RK3588. The Vulcan driver is still work in progress, but perhaps it is good enough to work with a large language model. Who knows? And if not, then we'll just wait until we have a fully conformant Vulcan driver for the Rockchip RK3588 and also hopefully that 
very soon will get the Vulcan driver for at least one of my Risk Five boards, and hopefully all three of them. And that would mean that also on Risk Five that you can work with large language models on the GPU. So that's um, a lot of hope for this year that I can try to test it on more hardware. This is all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.